A group of people gathered here today who said their involvement with Herbalife made them lose hundreds of thousands of dollars. In 2016, a three million dollar settlement was reached with the company, but people here today say they have yet to see any of that money. Seven years inside of our attorney general's office, whether it was Lisa Madigan or today Kwame Raul, ya basta, it's enough. We need answers and the restitution needs to be provided to these victims. Pastor Julie Contreras, founder of United Giving Hope, has been working with 36 individuals who filed official complaints with the Attorney General's office about their experience with Herbalife, people like Susana Perez. She says she fell into the illusion that she was going to make a lot of money, but instead wound up losing investments, her savings, and barely had enough money to put food on the table. For Susana's case, it was $160,000 dollars that she lost and she seeks restitution. In 2016, there was a nationwide Federal Trade Commission $200 million settlement that was reached with Herbalife. Then Attorney General Lisa Madigan announced Illinois Herbalife members would benefit from an additional $3 million settlement with the company to resolve numerous complaints about their false and misleading marketing scheme. Seven years later, victims say they have yet to see restitution from the Illinois settlement. Today, the group delivered a letter to the Office of Current Illinois Attorney General Kwame Raul asking for the disbursement of funds. In a statement, the Attorney General's office said, before we could begin Illinois' restitution process, the Federal Trade Commission had to first complete its own restitution process, which ended in early 2020. While this has taken longer than originally anticipated, we remain committed to ensuring consumers who are victims of Herbalife's multi-level marketing scheme receive financial restitution. Organizers here today believe there are about 500 people in the state of Illinois still waiting on that restitution. Reporting from the Thompson Center, Christine Flores, WGN News.